Go make Netflix movie. Megan sparks tremendous U.S. fury after inserting drama into U.S. politics. Meghan Markle has sparked fury in the U.S., with a politician accusing her of inserting drama into American politics. The unidentified congressman said, This is just another attempt from the ex-royals to insert their British drama into American politics. I don't think anyone on this side of the pond cares for Meghan Markle's opinion on killing babies. Speaking to the Daily Mail, he added, However, I think her running for president would be a great episode for the Crown. Last year, Meghan joined an online conversation entitled Minding the Gap to discuss how women can reach economic and professional parity with men. During the discussion, the Duchess of Sussex was candid about her recent efforts campaigning for paid family leave, which saw her reach out to a number of senior senators in the U.S. Congress. She said, I don't see this as a political issue, frankly. The Duchess also invited speculation as to whether she had political aspirations, and would perhaps one day run for office in her native U.S. University of Notre Dame academic Robert Schmull, whose research has focused on the culture of celebrity in politics, claimed that celebrities with political aspirations were a real danger to American democracy. He said, the sense of the amateur being able to take on the system is important. That sense that anyone can do it drives many of these celebrities to think ah, you know, I could do that, I can be governor, I can be president. However, he added, there is a real danger. Meanwhile, it's reported that Meghan Markle would have to renounce her UK titles if she wanted to run for political office in the United States. The US Constitution specifies that people holding US office may not accept foreign titles unless they have congressional approval. Harvard professor Mark Tushnet says that the likelihood of their approval is very slim. He said, I don't think it's ever happened before. I think the chances of Congress allowing her to retain her titles would be very slim. But he added, technically, she could run without renouncing her titles and could even serve if elected if Congress approved. However, he said that retaining the titles would be politically damaging. Professor Tushnet continued, as a practical matter, though, she'd have to renounce her titles to run. Politically it would be quite damaging, I think, for her to retain the titles. Opponents will seize on anything, and this will be a hook to say well she's not really a true American. This came after Meghan spoke out against the overturning of Roe v. Wade by the U.S. Supreme Court. Abortion was made legal across the U.S. in 1973 after a landmark Supreme Court ruling, known as Roe v. Wade, but this was overturned last month. As many as 26 conservative U.S. states are now expected to introduce new abortion restrictions or bans. So far, abortion is now illegal or heavily restricted in at least 11 states following the decision. Women are already sharing stories of how their physical safety is being put in danger. Women with resources will travel to get an abortion, those without might attempt to give themselves one at tremendous risk. Some will have to source abortion pills from unregulated pharmacies. Others who are pregnant and find themselves in a medical emergency will be at the mercy of doctors and lawyers to determine if a procedure that is needed to save her life can even be done at all. What does this tell women? It tells us that our physical safety doesn't matter, and as a result that we don't matter. But we do. Women matter. There are fears that the number of illegal abortions will rise in the U.S. in the wake of the decision. Meghan called on people to channel their fear and anger over the decision into something that makes a difference. Speaking ahead of the midterm elections in November, she said, When you have anger, you have to channel that energy into something that makes a difference. Chan